Nataka Jesus to bless you. Yeah. Yeah. I know in this land there's a lot of suffering. Najua katika eneo hili kuna matatizo mengi sana. Poverty. Umasikini. Family problems. Matatizo katika familia. Sickness. Magonjwa. Because people have not followed God faithfully. Kwa sababu watu wengi hawajafuata na kutii amri za Mungu. If we repent of our sins. Tukitubu dhambi zetu jioni ya leo. And come to God and say. Na tukaja mbele za Bwana. I'm sorry for my sins. Na kumwambia tunatubu dhambi zetu jioni ya leo. I'm sorry at my home I have yelled at my family members. Katika nyumba yangu nimegombana na wana familia. I'm sorry that I've told lies. Na na naomba msamaha kwa sababu niongea uongo. I'm sorry that I've not loved the Lord of my, my God with all my heart. Naomba msamaha kwa sababu nimetenda mengi yaliyo machukizo mbele zako. So if you're sorry for your sins, ukiwa na ukiona ukiona karaha katika dhambi zako. And ask God to forgive you. Na ukamwomba Mungu apate kukusamehe. And bless you. Na apate kukubariki. His blessings will start to come to you. Baraka zake zitaanza kumiminika kwako. Sema amen. amen. You know, I have experienced different kinds of miracles. Ame ameshuhudia miujiza mingi sana. I tell you one miracle, very special. Nitakwambia muujiza mmoja wa kipekee. One time I was flying to Africa. Siku moja akiwa nasafiri kuja huko Afrika. And then in the middle when I'm supposed to transfer to another plane, wakati akiwa anajiandaa kuhamia katika ndege nyingine, I was half asleep. Alikuwa amesinzia. And I missed the plane. Na ndege ile ikawa imemwacha. And when I went up to the counter, alipoenda katika kaunta pale, they said the plane has left. Wakamwambia kwamba ndege uliyokuwa unataka usafiri nayo ilikuwaacha. So you have to buy another ticket. Kwa ikabidi anunue ticket nyingine. And I asked God to help. Na akamwomba Mungu apate kumsaidia. And then I asked the person, can you help? Pia akauliza waje wanaweza kumsaidia. She said I cannot help. Hakuna aliyeweza kumsaidia. The plane has left. Ndege imeshaondoka. And then I what well, I pray and then I ask her again. Aiwomba na akawauliza tena. Can you make a phone call? Je, mnaweza kuwapigia ndege kuwapigia simu? And she made a phone call. Na akapiga simu. And then she looked like that. Alipokuwa amepiga ile simu akamwangalia. The plane has come back. Akasema ndege ile iliyokuwa imeondoka imerudi tena. Sema amen. amen. The plane could not take off. Kwamba safari isingeliweza kuondoka bila yeye. Haleluya. There was some problem with the plane. Kuzikuwa na tatizo katika ile ndege. And it waited for a while and then it came back. Ilipokuwa imeondoka ikabidi irudi tena. Because God's plan is Kwa sababu mpango wa Mungu ulikuwa huu. If I'm not on the plane. Kama yeye asingekuwa katika huyo safari. The plane cannot take off. Safari isingeliweza kwenda. Haleluya. I'm telling you. Nakwambia jioni ya leo. Amen. No, I I tell you that has never happened to me before. Haijawahi kufanyika kabla hajamjua Kristo. I I was never on a plane and a plane could not take off. Kama kwa sababu hakuwa katika ndege ndege isingeweza kuondoka. But when I was not on the plane, lakini kwa sababu hakuwa katika ile ndege, the plane could not take off. Ndege isingeondoka. Because God cares about his people. Kwa sababu Mungu anajali watu wake. Haleluya. God cares about the people who love him. Mungu anajali watu wanaompenda. And serve God. Kwa hiyo hivyo Mungu. Let me tell you. Moja nikwambie. I'm 66 years old. Hapo mzee ana miaka 66. Wangapi wana miaka kama zake lakini ndio baba ado. Haleluya. Amekula miaka 66. Wangapi mnalingana naye hapa? I'm 66 years old. Ana miaka 66. And God gives me strength. Lakini Mungu bado amempa nguvu. God gives me health. Bado Bwana amempa afya. Because I love God. Kwa sababu anampenda Mungu. People who are much younger than me when they read small letters they have to use eye glasses. Watu wengi ambao wana umri mdogo kuliko yeye wanapotaka kusoma wanatumia miwani. Si ukweli jamani? Yeah. Lakini yeye but when I read small letters, lakini yeye bado anatumia macho tu. I don't need eyeglasses. Haitaji miwani tena. Haleluya. Amen. And I have a wonderful wife. Pia anaonyesha kwamba ana mrembo wake mzuri sana dunia hii. I'm telling you. Anakwambia. If you want God to bless you, ukitaka Mungu akubariki jioni ya leo. Repent of your sins. Tubu dhambi zako. Haleluya. Amen. Jesus. And say, I'm sorry for my 
Nasikitikia dhambi zangu. I want to love Jesus. Nahitaji upendo wako Kristo. I want to go to church. Nahitaji kwenda kanisani. I want to serve God. Nahitaji kumtumikia wewe. When God hears that. Mungu akisikia maneno hayo. He is very very happy. Yeye huwa anafuraha furaha furaha. Haleluya. Anatubariki. Let me ask you. Ngoja nikuulize. How many of you want Jesus to bless your family? Wangapi jioni ya leo nyosha mkono wako unataka Bwana abariki family yako na kubariki na wewe? Bwana atabariki afya yako. And bless your future. Na abariki hata hatima yako ya baadaye. And then one day you can go to heaven. Hii siku moja upate kwenda mbinguni. And you see me. Na wewe utamuona. You know some people have seen me ahead of time. What heaven? Watu wengine wamewahi kufika huko mbinguni kwa shida. And he said I'm like a very majestic prince. Akasema kule mbinguni ni mahali pazuri sana. Because I love God. Kwa sababu alimpenda Mungu. If you love God. Ukimpenda Mungu jioni ya leo. In heaven. Bingu. You be full of glory. Kutakuwa na utukufu tu. You be shining. Kutakuwa ukingara tu. Amen. And people say this is a special person. Na utasema wewe ni mtu mteule. Haleluya. Amen. Kwa mkono wako kwa Yesu jioni ya leo. Haleluya. Amen. And three times I almost hit uh, you know I was driving a car I almost hit another car and I could have been killed. katika nyakati tatu tofauti akiwa anaendesha gari alipata ajali na hata angeweza kufa. And the last time mara ya mwisho I saw the car so close to me. Aliona gari likija karibu naye. I said Jesus I didn't know I'd come to you so soon. Akasema Yesu sikutarajia kwamba leo ndio nakuja kwako. Haleluya. There was no place for the car to go away. Kwa sababu hakuwa na nafasi ya gari kwenda kwingine. We are hitting each other. Alikuwa wagongane kichwa kwa kichwa. And suddenly I don't know how it happened. Ghafla hata hajui kilichotendeka. The car could turn away. Gari lile likapita kama. And I said thank you. Akasema asante Mungu. I still have my life. Bado nina uzima wangu. Do you thank God you have your life? Ni unafikiri Mungu anapenda uwao wako? Do you want Jesus to bless your life? Unataka Yesu abariki maisha yako? Nyosha mkono wako unataka Yesu abariki maisha yako? How many of you believe in Jesus? Wao wangapi kati yenu mnaamini katika Yesu? Believe that Jesus is the son of God. Amini kwamba Yesu ni mwana wa Mungu. And you want to worship Jesus. Ili upate kumwabudu Bwana. And you want to go to church. Na unahitaji kwenda kanisani. Some people say I I go home and pray. Watu wengine wanasema ah hata nyumbani nitaomba tu. Let me ask you if you get married. Ngoja nikwambie ukiolewa. Will you say to your wife? Utawaambia mke wako? I go home, you go to your home. Kwamba naenda kwetu na wewe naenda kwenu. I remember you. Nitakukumbuka kwa ukiwa kwenu na mimi nikiwa kwetu. When people get married do they do that? Watu wanapoana jamani inafanyika hivyo? Now some people believe in Jesus they say I'll go home. Watu wengine wanapomwamini Mungu wanasema ah hata nyumbani tunitaomba. I won't come to your house. Sitakuja kwenye nyumba yako. But you know there are blessings in the house of God. Jua kwamba baraka ziko katika nyumba ya Bwana. Amen. There are wonderful people there. Katika kanisa kuna watu wazuri mbele. And these people are willing to help you. Na watu wako tayari kukubariki wewe. And they are a group of friendly people. Ni watu ambao ni marafiki wa karibu sana. So do you want to go to church? So ukitamani kwenda kanisani. Okay, now would you raise your hand to Jesus? Yosha mkono wako unapenda kanisani. Look in the heaven. Jesus you are up there. Sema Yesu ulioko huko juu. And you are here too. Na pia uko mahali hapa. I accept Jesus as my Savior. Nakukubali kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu. I need you Jesus. Nakuhitaji Yesu. With you I have all kinds of blessings. Pamoja nawe kila mambo yatakuwa sawa. My life will be different. Maisha yangu yatakuwa tofauti. My life will go higher and Maisha yangu yatapanda kiwango baada ya kiwango. Haleluya. And I can bless Tanzania. Na naweza kubariki Tanzania. So you say to God. Sitamwambia Mungu. I'm sorry for my sins. Bwana natubu zambi zangu. I've sinned against you. Nimetenda kinyume na mapenzi yangu. I've sinned against people. Nimetenda kinyume na mapenzi ya wengine. I've hurt people. Nimeumiza hata wengine. I have told lies. Nimesema uongo. I have not worshiped you. Sijakuabudu kwa muda mrefu. I have not come to church. Sijajaaenda hata kanisani. I have not loved you with all my heart. Sijakupenda kwa moyo wa dhati. Please come into my heart. Tafadhali Yesu njoo ndani ya moyo wako. Give my sins. Nisamee makosa yangu. Wash me clean with the blood. Nioshe kwa damu yako ya samani. Nipe uzima wa milele. And then you have eternal life. Na utapata uzima wa milele. Amen. Bwana anakutambua. Jesus I need you. Yesu nakualika sasa.